Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. And welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 78. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building, my fucking brother in the building. Introduce yourself to the audience. What's going on, everybody? This is T Stokes. You know what I'm saying? On Instagram, T Stokes S P, all one word. Um, also, you can follow my fitness page, Push Through Pain Fitness, P U S H T H R U. P-A-I-N, fitness, all one word. You looking for a trainer, you know, I'll let you go. All right. First of all, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. All right, now let's hit the rundown. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 o'clock on the E-Block Radio Network. Tuesdays, 2 o'clock on the GFT Radio Network. Wednesdays, 216 to blend. That is now 12 midnight on Wednesday. 12, uh, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. They put me in another drink. They got to get that into the rotation. Uh, 12.30 com on Thursdays. Fridays is I Say Podcast Radio Network at 10 a.m. THC, THC Media on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Sunday, still trying to lock in that spot, y'all. H2H Cleaning. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. It's a trusty area situation, but if you make it worth my while, I will slide. Uh, we do in roof and plumbing, HVAC, carpet and flooring, cleanups, cleanouts. However you need it, we can make it happen. Uh, Custom Hustle. Custom Hustle is the name of the clothing line. Custom Hustle World on Instagram. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom jackets, jerseys. Uh, got the hockey jerseys, the basketball jerseys, the baseball jerseys, uh, sweatsuits, uh, t-shirts. We got all the baby stuff and all of those different things as well. Um, put your orders in, you know, get you back to school along with us over here at Custom Hustle World. Um, and uh, H2H, uh, how to hustle seminars can still be purchased. How to hustle seminars can still be purchased. DM me, we can make that happen. All right, episode 78. This one here is something TT posted. Something he posted. I see, I'm scrolling through Facebook. Yeah, I'm back on Facebook. <laughs> Seeing this joint, I read through these comments and I told him this is the episode right here. We're not even about to flame this on a phone call. What are the benefits? What are the benefits of being single after 35 was the question that he posed to all of the world. So we got the guests go first here on the Hot House Podcast with Hype. Stokes, he started that one off for me. Um, so personally, bro, um, being a man that's over 35, um, almost about to be 40 in Shawa, I see zero benefit in being single over 35. Like none. Like absolutely zero benefit. Um, because I feel like after 35, like you should be like a lot more settled in your life, knowing what you want, where you want to be in certain things. And you should at least know like what you want in a partner. So, and like you said, so like, first of all, like I thought you was fake on Facebook. Yeah, I had to make sure it was you. You know what I'm saying? You know, because... We had Everybody kept all the saying time. that because it kept yeah, saying I like I had, saying. it kept <laughs> saying like you got married the other day. And if you know, then you, if you know he was at my wedding, which damn near everybody was there, um, yeah, like, <laughs> six years ago. So people kept saying that to me, like, "Yo, this John said you got married like three days ago." I know that wasn't you. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I mean, kind of crazy, but it was just like, but yeah. So like you said, so when I posed it, it was, and it was just crazy to me, like. Like just reading the comments. Hold and... up, we ain't we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. But well, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Yeah, we're not there. We're gonna get to the comments. What we need to figure um... out though is all right. So you saying that you don't believe there's any benefits because at this point in your life, basically you should be settled. Or if not yeah, settled, like... it should be right on the horizon type of thing. Yeah, like because it's like like you get tired of sleeping by yourself. You get tired of putting your mom down as your emergency contact or somebody on that along those lines. Like, you know what I mean? Like you get you get tired of doing these type of things. I ain't gonna bro. Hold like you. It's it's still weird not putting my mom as the emergency contact. Yeah, like you feel whenever me like, they, you, whenever you, they ask, I'll be like two one four. Oh wait, shit. I gotta, no, proceed well, I gotta put my wife. Yeah, I gotta put my wife there. Exactly. You feel me? Like it's like I can't 
can't put my mom down my emergency contact with I have a wife. You feel me? Like you, it's this not going to happen. You feel me? So it's 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 no benefit in sleeping by yourself every night. Like there's no benefit in none of this. Like I'm just like I, I don't see the benefit of it. Like, but you know. All right. So. All right, personally, I think we might even we might have needed one of these people out of these comments to do this drink. Because, but you know, that's how we do things over here. I want to spark that interest in you and make you want to come back. Um, I don't think I don't see any benefits in it either. Um, it's one of them things like because I'm 35 and I try to like tell my homies who like if you're over 35 and like you ain't got like a serious girl or serious nothing, in you, it's, it's like you need that to structure your situation. It makes you look at stuff different. It sets up your goals differently. Like you're saying at this stage in life, you shouldn't, if you don't have it all figured out, then it's like, yeah, but it's right there. It's on the way. Like, you know, I'm moving towards this goal. I got this that I'm trying to accomplish. But a lot of them different things, like people just, like, I don't understand what the hell be going on in the world. That's why I got married and got out of the game is because it's like, this shit looks this shit looks crazy. Um going no, through these this... comments, the general thing that everybody pretty much kept saying was peace of mind, happiness, stress-free, uh, and I can do whatever I want. Now, when you get to a certain age of responsibility, you get to a first not even age really, it's just a sense of responsibility. Once you got kids, you can't do whatever you want. Once you Thanks. got like there's no more doing whatever I want once I have my daughter because all the decisions right. that you make have to be based off of well, how is this going to affect her? Do she need some, wow. need, she needs some new school clothes? Do she need some sneaks? Did she grow out of this? Did she, like, all of those they things. They need diapers at, at that yeah. stage and all of that type of age. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when people was losing me with that one, like, I could do whatever I want. I don't have to answer to nobody. You shouldn't be in a relationship with somebody if you have to answer to them. Y'all in a relationship, a relationship is give and take. A relationship is us both compromising to make this thing work for us. Can't be about how I grew up, how you grew up. It got to be about how we're growing together. The problem with most of these situations is it seemed like to me, like I said, reading through these comments, there's like 60 something comments when I stopped that day, is people don't even know what they're looking for. People just getting in relationships and just you'd rather say you got somebody than not have nobody. So now you're in a bad situation and now you're in three bad situations or four bad situations. And now you just, uh, you like, uh, you got your shit, you got this Sloman shield up, whether you're a guy or a girl, because it's like I've been fucked over or hurt so many different times, and played with in so many different ways that now I'm not even open to the shit. When, once you start to hit this stage of life, it's like, man, look, I'm looking for shit to slow down. I'm looking to relax. I'm looking to chill. And it's like, how you don't know what you look like? A lot was another thing people kept saying too was like, I'm, you get to, I get to find out, uh, I get to work on myself and find out who I am. How you don't know who you are at this stage? Yeah, bro, listen, right? Let me jump in, bro. Like you said that. So what you just said, bro, you said peace, happiness. What was the other one? That was the other like, um, I get to do what I want and I don't do what I want. And, right. Bro, like, so, and, I, and so, you, like you said, so you see, I kept asking everybody, bro, like, what in the toxic relationship, like, you can't have peace in a relationship. You can't have happiness in a relationship. Like, and the other one was, oh, work on myself. So you can't work on yourself while you're in a relationship. It's like, bro, even if you're in a relationship, like, right now, like, you and your wife, like, y'all married, I've been married for six years, like you said, you still working on yourself so in a marriage. Out. That's one thing that I also don't understand when people say that. People are people act like they can only do like the self-evaluations after the relationship is over. When if you're in a decent relationship, y'all know the house phone rings every episode. When you're in a decent relationship, it's like we should be working on this situation and working on ourselves the whole time. That way you adjust your game and we can get better and grow together. Because the thing is that the person that you meet, and if y'all in, let's just use my relationship for example, a six-year relationship. We ain't the same people that got married the day that we said no. I do, that we are no. six years later. And if you're not constantly evaluating you and her or you and him, then that's how y'all grow apart. That's how y'all see that we're not pushing through the same stuff. We might have been great for each other at 26, but at 34, it's like, 
this ain't working out because we don't want the same thing. We're not looking to grow the same places. But if you wait until the shit's over to say, all right, now I need to take a look at what I did or what she did or like, that's the fucked up situation. But that's what happens when you just jump into something. Facts, but like you say, but also like, this is the thing, bro. Like, and we know this as people, bro. Like we're human beings. When we say, oh, I'm working on myself. Bro, if you don't have somebody close to you, like like you said, a spouse or somebody that are telling you things that you're doing wrong, what are you gonna be working on? You're gonna be doing the same thing that you that you can that you've been doing. You're not you gonna be right. working on you think it's exactly. right. That's why you're doing it. <laughs> exactly. You think it's right. So you got somebody that's telling you these things are wrong and helping you work on these things. Like that's or like that's how you that's getting better and working on yourself is having somebody tell you like yo you do this, or you act like this, or you do this, and if you know within yourself, now you got your spouse pointed out, now y'all working on it, like you said, you can work on it together, it's like, okay, no, now you, now you can start to work on these things, or start to, you know, tweak it for your spouse, because it's like, okay, I have somebody telling me, but it's like, if I don't have anybody telling me what, like, I got going on, like, I'm gonna keep doing the same stuff, repeating the same thing, taking the same stuff in the next relationship, and they keep on failing the because about, it's, the thing about these situations too though is like it don't even have to be in a relationship it's somebody that comes from a place of love with you and you know if this person is coming from a place of love and they tell you yo you always do this or you always do that and you always late you always say i'm 10 minutes away and you ain't even left the house you always say i'm ready and you ain't even dressed like the person who brings these things up to you not trying to uh belittle you not trying to put you down that person that's bringing them up and you like, I know he wouldn't be on no bullshit. I know she wouldn't be on no bullshit. They're telling me this is because it's really something that I'm doing, right? But it takes a bigger person to look at it like everybody instantly, when somebody tells you something you don't want to hear or something that they don't agree with, everybody instantly gets defensive. Getting defensive and getting mad that somebody don't agree with the shit that you're doing is a sign of immaturity. If you can't take this constructive criticism and like really use it and evaluate yourself and say like all right yeah i need to work on that or maybe i don't need to work on it maybe it should be just that one person's perspective but i don't understand how people is like how you don't know what you're looking for and you this age how you not how are you not how are you not in a situation where it's like all right for argument's sake i don't want a girl with kids when this girl comes to you and she says she has kids why are you still talking to her you say you don't want to do it with kids. When he told you he got two daughters, why are you talking to him? Like, you say, Yo. I don't want nobody that hangs in the bar. Why are you cracking on anything in the bar then? Like, you set bro, yourself up in these situations. No, nah, bro, it's, it's like, like I said, bro, since I've been single, man, like, it's, it's literally, like, it's astonishing. Like, that's why, kind of why I put that post up. It's astonishing to see like so many people, like you said, it's just like, so I've talked to so many women, bro. Like you said, that are over 35 and it's like, you still don't know what you want. Like you genuinely don't know what you want. And it's just like, now you, but now you're out here wasting people's time, right? Because it's like, you say you want this, but you do nothing towards acting like you want a relationship. Like you say, you act like you say, I want a relationship, but, you put no effort, no nothing. It's but just like you thing, do. This is the thing we always got to remember, though. Everybody didn't grow up in sturdy situations. Some people grew up with a toxic mom or toxic dad, and all they saw was a toxic relationship. So in their head, this is what it looked like. We're supposed to argue. We're supposed to cuss each other out, fight, fuss, and all that, because they don't know how to be. They don't even know the questions to ask to get to a sturdy situation. Some people came from a sturdy situation and they don't know nothing about, like, we arguing? Like, what? You cussing me out? <laughs> like, is that what we doing? The one thing that people all say in the dating pool now is, like, the dating pool ain't shit. The dating pool is fucked up. So if we all recognize that the dating pool is fucked up, what are we doing? To, we Are we doing individually to all improve the dating situation? Like, are we just all going, well, it's fucked up, so I'm going to be fucked up with it? Like, that don't make sense to no. me. No, but that's what you said. That's basically what that's basically what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and and bro, I'm telling you, man. Like it's, I've gotten to the point where I just was telling somebody, man. Like I'm literally about to take myself off the market. Like it's 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 literally like this bad out here because it's it's like I'm genuinely tired of talking to people like I said that are over my age or older. And like I said again. And there's people older than me that it's like you don't know what you want. You're 40 something years old and you don't know what you want. How is this possible? 
just tell me how is this possible? You're a 44 year old woman and you don't know what you want. It's talk astonishing me, to me, bro. Talk me through the dating pool. Uh, well, since we just brought that up, talk me through uh, somebody who's out of the, who's been out of the game. And like I said, every time you have these conversations with anybody who's single, they say, "Oh, the dating pool is fucked up." Talk me through what's the dating pool like in 2022? Because this sounds fucked up. Whoever, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a first start off by saying, by all means. Don't try to get in this game. Like, if you stay with your wife, like, just by all means, like, stay with your wife. Do whatever y'all got to try to work it out. Y'all got to go through anything. Try to figure, try to work that shit out till it's, till, till it's literally, you can't, if, you know what I'm saying? Cause, bro, I'm telling you, like, it's, like I just said, bro, like, you have women that, that don't know what they want. You have women that don't know how to hold conversation. You have women that, Say they're interested, but literally show no interest. You have women that think that they're supposed to, that you're supposed to dislike them because they're just, because they have certain features or certain things, and it's just like, no, like no, that's not. I'm I'm not there, and it's just, and you know, in our religion, like we're not really allowed to date. So I'm not, and I'm not, so I'm not really, I'm not a serial dater anyway. Like I'm not about to be this dude that's about to be just going on just all these random dates, just just to sit and talk and eat and spend my money for what? And it's really, I don't really see nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Meticulating from this, so. Now, see, the bad part about that. shit just bad, bro. The bad part about that is like, you said can't hold a conversation. If you can't hold a conversation, especially like, the reason why you throw out the 35, the number is because at this point, it's like, we've all been through enough different situations which copy everybody got their past and things that happen i'm saying just don't tell me your number and we good um but copy. we all been through enough that we should know i like this i don't like that i like this i don't like that and when no everybody having a preference is perfectly fine I never tell people like uh that it's wrong for you to have a preference it's just wrong for you to put yourself in a situation where you're not meeting what you set your own standards to be. So like you said, I don't want to be a serial dater. Then you shouldn't be going out on a thousand different dates where you already know, like, I don't even want to do this shit. I'm already uncomfortable. This is not what I'm feeling. You should talk to the motherfucker and see if there's something there. See if we got a vibe. See if we got, see if we got mutual understanding. See if we can grow together. But it's like, do people even talk to each other? Do people even no. have these general conversations? Like, me and my wife had so many different conversations before we ever got married. We don't have, it, like, me and my wife, two different religions. We had that conversation about, so what happens if we have kids? Like, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? Like, you got to talk about all of that type shit just before you just, I'm never telling nobody just marry somebody to marry somebody. Be with somebody just to be with somebody. No. But you have to have real conversations. You got to be, like, have them uncomfortable conversations. Just tell him about the time that this happened and that happened. And you ain't like that shit. And this is not what you're going to put up with. Tell her about that. Like, so that we can meet each other on a mutual ground and we both know what we're looking for. So that we're not both still swimming in this dating pool. Listen, right? And here's the thing. This is like you said, bro. I'm going to give you a prime example, right? Like, so it was a point in time where I was just like, I don't want no more kids. Like, I'm done. So I wouldn't talk to women, you know, that still wanted kids, right? But then, you know, I prayed on it or whatever. And then I, like, at the end of the day, like, that's what, we, that's what we're here to do. We're here to reproduce, like, and it's, like, it's a lost will at the end of the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't control it. It's a lost will. So if it happens, Happy. I'm going to take care of my kid and, you know, do whatever it's going to do. So so now by me changing the way I think, now that opens up, that opened up a little bit more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm open to talking to women with kids and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But. The biggest, the biggest thing, bro, and if I can, if I could probably say one thing, like about the dating pool, like with my my personal experience, the women I've met, um, it's too many no limit soldiers. Um, like it's too many, it's too many Mia exes out here. Like every one of them just, just <laughs> they, they they hard as nails, bro. Like they just. They got to be hard as nails. There's no feminine energy out here, bro. It's just like so much just, I don't need a nigga for this. And I don't need, so I was just having this conversation with this young lady yesterday. And 
I was explaining to her, I said, listen, man, I can take care of myself. I know how to do all of these things. But guess what? I still need a woman in my life. I need a woman. The moment, so when, because I, I, when you start to think that, I, 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 and I, this is before I let you go, like I, 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 I broke it down to like a job. I said, if you have a job and you feel like you just, you want this job or you need this job, you're going to treat it way differently. Like you're going to treat it and, and handle it those two things completely different. If you feel like you need something, you're going to treat it way differently. But if you feel like, I don't need that, I, I don't need that shit. Like, it's expendable. That's how you, you're going to treat it as such. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you're going to treat it. So if that's your mentality, like, then niggas are going to always be expendable if you feel like, oh, I don't need a nigga for this. Right? So it would be them saying, women like, well, why do you talk to men at all? Why are men even allowed to call your phone if you don't need a nigga for nothing? So, <laughs> like, it blows my mind. Like, it, it literally blows my mind. Like, the, this is a couple of weeks they, ago. They know when so. they're soldier me down. Something that you just said a couple of weeks ago, my mother in law said something to me about washing clothes. And I told her, like, I don't, wa- I don't wash clothes. My wife handles that. I don't even know what she uses to wash the clothes. I know how to wash them when I, like, if I had to wash my own clothes when I wasn't in a relationship with her, I washed my own clothes, but I don't want to. Like, I know how to cook. Like, I can get in the kitchen and make something, but I don't really want to have to do it every damn day. It's not about me not knowing how to do it. It's not about you not knowing how to kill a mouse, but I'm quite sure you don't want to go out here with the sticky in the bat and go handle that. Um, Copy. 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 Something that you just touched on, and this, like, I've been saying this one since the beginning of the podcast. When you were told, this is for the for the women when you were told as a young girl you don't need a nigga you don't ever depend on a nigga for everything you don't need a nigga for this that and whatever because your aunt cousin mom whoever it was that was the person of influence was telling you this she wasn't talking about your husband she wasn't talking about your serious relationship with the girl the dude she was talking about was just some nigga that you talked to you don't be dependent upon some nigga so that you can't feed yourself like you said you're going on dates and such she wasn't saying don't get into a marriage and then tell him i don't need you for shit pussy i make more money than you and this that whatever like nobody was telling you to do that and if you have that type of mentality in a marriage i mean maybe it works for y'all copy hey congratulations but i don't know anybody who wants to be with anybody like that no copy bro and that's and that's the thing man like it's 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 like it's and it's so many women that that got, like you said that had that mentality, bro. Like, like you said, to touch back on it. That's one of the things that if I talk to anybody and we start getting serious and we said I like her or whatever, I put it out there. Listen, we get serious and all that. You become my girl and we get like a serious with Barry and all that. One of the things that I that I don't I don't really have a lot of stipulations. I genuinely don't. But washing my clothes is a stipulation. If that's not one of your things, then this will not work for us. This oh no! Nah, see work. stuff like something like that'll weed itself out, though. You know, as the relationship grows, uh, is if she don't just do it, then it ain't something that she wants to do. Then copy. I mean, like me personally, like I could like you all that I like, but I couldn't deal with nobody with kids. Uh, uh, for dudes who do put themselves in them situations, like I ain't got all the respect in the world for you to be able to handle that. I know that I couldn't. I know that I didn't want to have you got one or two baby fathers who can all feel like he gonna always be able to come around here, say whatever you want, do whatever you want. These kids at any given moment can, you could have raised them since an infant, and at any given moment they can still look at you and say, "You ain't really my dad," or "You ain't really my, like." That type of stuff, I never wanted to put myself in that situation, which is why I was like, okay, even like, yeah, I might like you, but it can't really go much further than here because this is this is what it is. Um, so I'm going through Quebec through a couple of these comments. Some of the stuff that people were saying. Um, one that stood out to me, somebody said you can act like you're 25. Now, he's probably playing, but it's some truth in every statement. Why do you want to why are you trying to act like you're 25 if you're 35? If you try, if somebody throws that out there to me, then that means I need to get away from her. She's not the type. She's not on the same type of time that I'm on. Uh, somebody what? here, peace is what somebody is saying. There are peaceful relationships. Like, and listen, get- right? It was another one. I'm gonna cut you off. It was another one. It was just like, 
You can have sex with anybody you want. At this age, why do you want to still be doing that? Like, at, we're getting near 40. You still want to be doing that, huh? Like, that's what you still want to be doing at damn near 40 years and, old. The crazy thing about them situations, once you start to get to this age, is you roll up on somebody's daughter. And they'd be like, that's my man. That's his little daughter from, oh, my God. Or that's such and such son. I'm like, yeah, you can't just be out here taking everything down. Yeah, <laughs> like, you understand what I'm saying, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, that's... Hey, I've never been one of those niggas who you knew the little girl since she was 11, and now she's 25, and you going like, man, what's up with you? What do you mean, what's up with her? Like... <laughs> At what age does that get old? That's what I, I be want to ask some people. Man. Maybe some people will, you know, respond to the comments. Maybe That's some men. Like, at what age? And you know, maybe that could be another show for another day. Like, you know what I mean? You can put that in the stories. Like, maybe. But, like, what? at what age does that get old? Like, to just be like, I got bros. Or I hit all these chicks. Or I, like, at what age does that get old for people? Because it's old for me. Like, but I just want to know what that gets old. I, I'll give Bora credit for this one. Shouts out to Bora uh, for saying this one was like, uh, this was back in the day, like on the Chicks podcast, when them joints first popped off. Um, you go through all of this to hit all these different chicks just to brag to your man. Now, ultimately, he don't really give a fuck. Like, after like, oh, damn, you hit such and such? Damn, that's what's up. Was the yams good? Oh, shit, it was. Oh, she did this, she did that. Oh, all right, copy. That's the end of the story. I'm never going to care about time three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that you hit. I don't care. Like, I'm not really impressed. Like, like I said, the first time you go, oh, shit, the chicks that was down there, oh, damn. Like, that initial time you go, oh, all right, damn, that's what's up. After that, you don't care. So it's like, <laughs> who are you? Because no. like at, at, at 37, nobody's coming in the house like, you I got some games yesterday. So, nigga, I paid the gas bill earlier. Like, who gives yeah, a like, who, like, yeah, who cares, bro? Like, that's the whole thing. Like, I just hit some new, I just got, I just got some new games. Yeah. You want to do it on an award or something? Like, you with 40 years old, like, okay. Like, I could do whatever I want and not have to answer to nobody. Why are you answering to anybody? Is something that I don't understand. Yeah, Happiness. Listen, bro. Peace. Listen, bro. Here's <laughs> like, the thing, right, bro? Here's the thing, right? And because, like, and, and whether it's now, or like you said at that time, but guess what, bro? Like, w whether people like it or not, we all answer to somebody. Every one of us answers to somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all answer to somebody, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, and like, I don't understand that. It's just like, I don't like know why people, like you said, they had to talk to like, like, if you're dealing with somebody, I had to explain this to this young lady earlier when I was just like, um, why now it's it's so hard for me to, to to it's it's so hard to date a woman that's not Muslim because women that aren't Muslim they look at the word submission as like the the most evil word on the face of the earth and it's like oh yeah submission so so that was an episode I did a while ago um what do you hear when you hear the word submission because yeah people hear that and instantly like you said now you no limit soldier uh yeah, you're you, not even listening. You no you're not even. You're not even listening or going through what the context of the word is. You just instantly heard, like, "Oh, I got to be less than," or "I got to be." No, it's not nothing like that. When, like you say, we all answer to somebody. It's kind of it's a yes and a no there because if you in a relationship with somebody and everybody has a routine, and if you're going to break the routine to go to your man's to watch the game tonight. You expect her to be in the house at a certain time. She get off at five, you know, by 6.30, she going to be in the crib. If she's not in the house now, you going, where the fuck is she at? It's the same thing if you're not in the house by then. All right, if you going to go watch the game, that's cool. You going to show up at 8.30, just tell me you going to come here at You going to come here then. Don't show up at 2.30 and you were supposed to have been here at 6 and then act like nothing's wrong. Like, don't what? act like, it's like I said, especially once you got kids. And once you have responsibilities to other people, whether y'all don't have no kids or not, y'all have a responsibility to each other. If something happens and she says, well, he's never out North Philly, so I heard it was a shooting out there, so I know he wasn't the fuck out there because he ain't never out there. And now your ass is out there. What was you doing out there? How did you get out there? I never knew nothing about that. Same thing as if it happens to her. You're going to be going, well, my girl don't be down in Center City, so I ain't worried about shit that happened down there. 
until she's down there and you didn't fucking know. That's why you, it's nothing wrong with just letting the motherfucker know, yo, look, I'm going over here, I'm going over there. It's not like, can I go? <laughs> like, unless you got that type and, of situation. Copy. And when I was saying everybody answered to somebody, I was saying on a tip like a law or your higher power, like we all answered to somebody. Like that's what tip I was saying it was on. Like, you know what I'm not saying? Like, really, because everybody don't believe in God. Yeah, copy. So yeah, everybody don't, nah, everybody so doesn't, bad. everybody doesn't. doesn't people. I mean, everybody don't look at it like they have to answer to somebody, you know? Some people think yeah, copy. Be, you know, I go with, like you said, I do whatever the fuck I want. I fly by the seat of my pants. Yeah, but like you said, like at the end of the day, like it, everything in life has some type of structure. You know what I'm saying? Like everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, who, I, I, how long you, like I said again, that's how like, anybody want to live that way. Like I said again, that's on you. That's, that ain't my job to judge you. Um, but it's like, like you said, if you're in a relationship, especially a marriage and all of that, like, y'all answer to each other. It's not a negative thing. Like you said, it's not like I'm telling you, like you said, I got all these rules and you can't do that. You're in that type of situation. And I, I don't, you know, that's, I wouldn't say that's healthy, but you know, to each his own. But hey, somebody said to me, um, you know I tell people this, I tell people this all the time. Me and her, me and my wife is married. I own her. She owns me. She has all the rights to ask me whatever it is that she wants to ask. I got all the rights to ask her whatever it is that I want to ask. Now, ultimately, we are adults and can make your own decisions, but we going to consult with each other before we just start doing shit. Like, because that's the way a healthy relationship works. That's the way you get to be in a stress-free, I don't have to worry about this type of shit because we're on a mutual understanding. We're on an even accord. We understand each other. We know what we're trying to accomplish together. And not just, I can do this on my own and I don't need help for shit. I can do this on my own and I don't need him for shit. When you have two people like that, everybody, when we both fighting to see who's going to drive the car, guess what we're going to do? We're going to crash. Because there's only one steering wheel. Like, we can't both drive. Yo, so this is another thing that, that I run into, right? Running, talking to females. And it, it, it mind bothers me. It's like, so like you said, I ask females, like, you know, so I have people say, like, but even if I do get a man, like, I ain't the type to act and do this or depend on him. And I was just like, so I always say, I said, well, what, what's the, what's the point in having somebody in your life if you, you can't depend if you, on them. if you can't depend on them or you need something, you can't like just like what's the purpose? Like you said, that's like that'd be like you said, it's like you have a wife and it's like I'm not depending on my wife for nothing. Like I'm not asking my wife for anything. It's just going to be off the muscle. It's like well. What the? What do you have a wife for what then? You like, got her you know what I'm saying, that. like, what? What do you have her for? Like, what is she around? What is she in your life for? Like, in those times, those times of need, or those times of whatever vulnerability, whatever. If she's not there, what? Like, what? What is she? Why, why is she your wife? That's what I was about to say. Because they just like you just you just hit the nail on the head when you say vulnerability, especially for us, for men. Uh, yes, for men of our generation. That's just. You know what I'm saying let's separate these yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Um, Say not this new generation. Yeah. To get to <laughs> to get to a point where, like you said, I'm gonna be vulnerable. It takes a lot for me to choose this woman, and then after I choose her, to then put myself in a situation to be vulnerable with her. But that takes me making the right choice in the situation, and not just you know, all right, she was cute, and we both ordered the same appetizer, so fuck it, like. That right. takes years and that takes practice and that takes work. And the a huge thing that basically everybody's saying in these situations is they don't want to work for these things. And nobody wants to work for these relationships in these situations because you've been shown that, or you've been basically it's just this didn't work, I can move on to the next person. This didn't work, I can move on to the next person. Like rather that be after a couple of months, couple of weeks, or a couple of years. And nobody places any value on these relationships, it seems to the point where we could just be in and out of them just fast as whatever. Like, no, that's the fact. These, no, they, they, they over, like, they be over, like you said, as fast as they get started, bro. And, and like you said, and it's, and it's like people just genuinely, like I said again, bro, like they genuinely just don't, it, it goes back to we started basically the conversation with, like, people just don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? At, at at this age, and it's just like, bro, it's, it's literally such a burnout, man. Like it's such a burnout. 
And if you listen into this, uh, and if you listen to this episode, you disagree with anything that we're saying, that's perfectly fine. I, I wholeheartedly accept all of that. Please come and disagree. I, I welcome all of that. Um, we can do the inverse of this conversation where this is the whole premise of the podcast is I don't want to shoot. I don't want to go through burn through everything in one episode. Let's get you back again and again and again and again. And we could talk about this is what I'm looking for. We could talk about these are the pluses of the situation. Once I'm in this age and stage, we can do all of that. Um, but feel free to tap in and tell me that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm all for that. Now, uh, before we wrap up this episode, episode 78, push through praying fitness. Let's talk a little bit about push through pain fitness. What's been your biggest challenge uh, being your own boss with push through pain? Um, the biggest the biggest challenge I would say is just getting like kind of like massive amounts of support. Like I get support from people, um, and like you know what I mean it goes well. You know what I'm saying, and I and I think I do pretty well with it. You know what I'm saying I get a lot of you know, I get a lot of good feedback and stuff. Um, but it's just like, you know, if I had a little bit more, I think I feel like I've had a little bit more support, you know what I mean? It could take it to another level. But like, you know, like you just were saying, like this is where I feel like having a, having a partner, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like will definitely like help me, you know what I mean? Just to help me push in a perspective, look at shit in a different way. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that would genuinely like, you know what I mean? Like help my overall life, which would in turn, help my business grow. You know what I'm saying? Um, the type of business that you in is similar to the, the businesses that I'm in, where you it has to be a demand for the supply. So it's not even really like a, it's not a lack of support type of thing, but I can't make you decide that you want to get your life together. You know what I'm saying? I can't make you decide that, you know what, I need to lose this 15 pounds. Not just I'm trying to go to this party and I'm going to look good in this dress if I lose this 15 pounds, but like I got high blood pressure and high cholesterol. And if I can get these 20 pounds off, it might help my situation. I'm pre-diabetic and I need to get this shit out of here. It's the same shit where like, I can't make you buy a sweatsuit. I can't make you buy a jersey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, right. you know it's like it being a business that's dependent on other people is like the issue there is from what I can, from what I see. Yeah, but no, but that that led me. That was going to lead me to my to my next point. With like, and that was definitely that was the next one. Like, the biggest issue is just like really like people wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, because there are so many people that DM me and hit me up, and it's like when I tell you, like, like genuinely, bro. Like, you see, I don't really do, and I, I need to do more marketing and stuff. And I'm working. I'm a definitely that's something that I'm working on, and I'm definitely going to get better at it. But I don't like, I don't call people like anybody that I get, like they call me or they hit me up. So it's like, you call me to waste my time. It's like, they call me like, hey, yeah, I want to start working out. Yeah, I'm trying to start in, in, in December. And it's August. Like, why are you calling me right now? Like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm confused by this. Like, you want to start in December, but you're calling me in August. And now when December comes, you're going to say, Oh no, it's Christmas, man. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Christmas. I mean, I might as well start next year. And it's like, you know, people like waste your time. So I would say that's definitely the biggest like thing is like getting people just to, you know what I mean, to get on board, like you said, and, and be consistent. Nah, the other night we in the store, we in Walmart the other night, and I'm like trying to, well, what did you say you needed me to go get? But I got two people asking me about jerseys. I go through a whole fucking 20 minute conversation with two different people. You want this, you want that copy. Oh no, I ain't ready to order it though yet. So why the fuck did you just take me for this? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's like, what are you, what are you wasting my time for? Like that 20 minutes is 20 minutes. I can't get back my guy. Like, and it's like, you know what I'm saying I'm standing, I'm standing there in the aisle. I'm not listening to nothing. My wife is saying, uh, and yeah, I'm just holding two joints. I'm going through two joints. All right, so you want this number? You want this color? You want this? You want? Oh no, neither one of you niggas ain't ready. <laughs> yeah, so before that would close, be the biggest challenge. All right, so before we close this one out, let everybody know where to follow you and all of that good stuff. Before we close uh, episode seventy-eight out. 
Yeah, you can follow me on Facebook. It's um, Terrence Stokes. You can follow me on Instagram. It's T-S-T-O-K-E-S-S-P, all one word. You can also follow my fitness page, P-U-S-H-T-H-R-U-P-A-I-N, fitness, all one word, push through pain fitness. And to let the folks know, you know what I'm saying, in case y'all didn't catch the SP, he's in Philly, he's in South Philly. But you do the virtual workouts and all that. I do virtual workouts. As, yeah, for the folks that are out of town, I do virtual workouts through Zoom, FaceTime. So don't let it discourage you. And they're just as good as my in-person workouts. I can promise you that. Copy that. For those who don't know, me, me and Stosie started in the podcasting game together, you know what I'm saying, five years ago. Our initial run together on OLF Podcast, we was part of the uh, initial four hosts of the show. So, you know what I'm saying? Good to get my bro on here. Episode 78. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Man, listen, bro. It's great to come back on. That's why I'm glad, you know, before you go, I'm glad you let me come on. I wanted to, you know, come on and support my bro. You know what I mean? And this will definitely will not be, inshallah, will not be my first time on the show. Inshallah. My last time on the show. Last time. Last time. Yeah, last time on the show. Episode 78, y'all. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.